The name of Sehoya is a byword in the Philippine abstraction. In my book of interviews titled Conversations on Philippine Art, published by the Cultural Center of the Philippines, in the interview, Mr. Hoya shared that abstraction was going to be his idiom and his style. He came back to the Philippines after the studies at Cranbrook and he pursued the abstraction that he knew that he was going to make a name. The painting that you see at the back is a typical example. It is dated 1957. He said that all his paintings are motivated by a kind of emotion, a subject, a moment, an event, or an emotional state. He created an art that is very eloquent in abstract expressionism, especially the largest mural in the country, entitled Pagdiriwang. Hoya introduced a type of texture, which is locally called ubok, named after a brand of carpenter's paste, huebok. So Hoya was able to introduce elements onto the canvas, such as sand, is all lathered in certain areas of the painting here. Hoya will always be a byword in Philippine abstraction, a legacy that he has left behind and inspired generations upon generations of abstractionists.